and welcome to The Diplomat. Currently, UN General Assembly is taking place in New York City, and last week, there was UNWTO Global Summit on Urban Tourism was held here in Seoul, South Korea. The tourism industry is crucial to vitalize the city's competitiveness and also future food industry. So how can we have solidarity among cities when the global affairs are changing more rapidly than ever? To find the answers, today on The Diplomat, we are going to meet Mongolian Minister of Environment and Tourism, Cherenbat Namsrai, and also learn about the relationship between two countries. The world's tourism industry leaders and travel agencies gathered in the city of Seoul for the 7th UNWTO Global Summit on Urban Tourism, held from September 16th to the 19th. Under the theme of a 2030 vision for urban tourism, the summit was a great platform for discussing key issues surrounding the future of tourism in cities. Since the inaugural summit in 2012, held in Istanbul, Turkey, this year's edition in Korea was the first time it's been hosted in Northeast Asia. Tourism has become a key economic factor, I mean, driver for many cities. The growth of urban tourism also brings significant socio-cultural impacts. <laughs> The summit was attended by more than 500 representatives from 50 countries including national tourism administrators and city authorities. Exposition of what's happening in Seoul. What is the new urban agenda? And how can tourism dovetail into that and, and become sustainable? Uh, international community adopted uh, sustainable development goals uh, in 2015. It includes an urban goal. Uh, it's goal 11 uh, to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. Tell me how much. Among the featured topics were innovative approaches to competitiveness in urban destinations, the impact of technology on urban tourism, the rejuvenation of cities, and ways to make city development more inclusive. The Minister of Environment and Tourism of Mongolia, Terenbat Namsrai, explained the current state of tourism in Mongolia and the government's new policies aimed at boosting the industry. Okay, thank you very much. Um, you know, the Mongolia is a landlocked country in between the two big countries, Russia and China. And also we have a three million population and we have one big city, which is capital city of Lambato. And to keep the sustainable tourism sector is to have one common understanding. The government of Mongolia is uh, implementing new understanding policy for tourism sector, how to be all the citizens to serve for tourists. How can we keep the environment friendly, yeah. socially, and safe condition for tourists? And also what is uniquely Mongolian, yeah. which is the environment? I think the 7th UNWTO Global Summit provided knowledge on urban tourism and regional urban development. It was really interesting for me to listen to different um, ideas from different perspectives. The insight that we got out of this conference or the learnings, the knowledge that we gained is very useful. Even for regional uh, urban developments, it's really useful. Given the importance of tourism in today's era, this week we invited Cherenbat Namsurai, the Mongolian Minister of Environment and Tourism, to talk about Korea and Mongolia's cooperation in the tourism and environment sectors, as well as their strong ties dating back to the mid-13th century.
Minister, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much for inviting the, this interview. Uh -huh. Um, in fact, last week there was the third Inner Korean Summit in Pyongyang. How did you feel about that? This is the great step to improve the, all the friendship and peace relations in Northeast Asian region and Mongolians. We are, have been the, a good supporter of peace in this region and we still are, but we will be the near future. Thank you. Um, you actually visited Korea early in the year to attend the Korea-Mongolian Business Forum. Yes. And now you came back again to take part in um, UNWTO Global Summit on urban tourism this time. How do you feel being back in Korea in this beautiful season of autumn? Um, First of all, congratulations for Koreans to hosting such a this big 7th UNWTO summit here in Seoul. And uh -huh. Seoul is uh, one of the iconic urban tourism destination in Asia. Uh -huh. And they're feeling great. And uh -huh. we see that when I arrive in Seoul, every time I feel there is a change in urban tourism uh -huh. sector. Uh -huh. um, this summit consisted of a series of high-profile tourism events, including a ministerial roundtable, and actually you took part of it. What issues were on the table for discussion? And this time we discussed uh, all aspects of the urban tourism mm -hmm. and what the city is facing, the overcrowding, what cities has failing the tourism sector, what other cities have achieved their tourism policy mm -hmm. and they have increased the jobs in that city, etc. thing we discussed. And mm -hmm. now there's today's main topic is how we use ICT in the urban tourism and how we can provide the tourists the safety and more confident in tourism sector area. Mm -hmm. And also we need to use the current digital technology, mm -hmm. promote and to provide the full information to the tourists. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, is Korea a popular um, destination for Mongolians? Yes, and for Republic of Korea we have been almost uh, 29 years after since diplomatic relation uh -huh. and also Mongolia declared uh, our third neighbor country is uh, mm -hmm. Korea. Mm -hmm. Also the Seoul is one of the, our international uh, transport hub mm -hmm. and there are a lot of Mongolians mm -hmm. work in Korea, study in Korea and right. some people come for medical service etc. Oh, Mm -hmm. Historically, we are brothers, mm -hmm. almost. And right, right. Yes, and our lifestyle, our cultural, our habit is uh, similar. We have a lot of similarities mm -hmm. in every field. Uh -huh. I see. Um, then what's the status of our tourism exchanges? Uh, the comparing the last statistic that the shows in, uh, in uh, eight months of, beginning of the eight months, uh, Korean tourists number increased at 14,000 wow. than last year uh -huh. and it shows more progress. Uh -huh. There are a lot of Korean investors, they have a business in, oh. in Mongolia, in service and tourism, hospitality sector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also this year the you know, weather was very nice in Mongolia. And in so, Mongolia. Yes, <laughs> and so a lot of Asian tourists uh, visited Mongolia more than last year. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Um, then what kinds of efforts are being made by Mongolia to attract more Korean tourists? We do few, uh, participate few events in Korea mm -hmm. and also there are a lot of international uh, NGO institutional forum mm -hmm. which hold in Mongolia mm -hmm. and mainly there are so one of the big our friendship cooperation, which is called Green Belt, mm. and the Korean mm -hmm. 
government and uh, NGOs, the plant trees the, oh, in Mongolia to uh -huh. keep the natural life and also it's uh, avoiding the you know, yellow dust storm. I see. Um, while we are at it, um, could you please tell us why we should visit Mongolia at least once in our lifetime? First reason in Mongolia, the whole country via museum. Uh -huh. And every people think museum is just in a, in a building, in a concrete right. building. But right. when you go to Mongolia, you feel the ancient stones uh -huh. and more natural things, more wild animals. Uh -huh. Even you see rabbit or fox, deer, etc. You will see while you're visiting <laughs> in Mongolia. It's uh -huh. like more live museum. Oh, you know? I see. Another thing uh -huh. is we are called the country of blue sky. 240 days we are sunny in Mongolian nice weather. sky, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. And we are dry during mm -hmm. summer and mm -hmm. windy. And mm -hmm. comparing that uh, Korea and Japan, we are more, more dry. Um, you just mentioned very shortly earlier, but um, I know that Koreans and Mongolians um, share similar genes. And um, Mongolia is also Korea is one of the closest, I would say, cousin in terms of our languages or history and culture. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more about our similarities that we share? More genetically, we have a blue spot, uh -huh. which is all Mongolians and Mongolian sisters we gifted from sky or God, whatever <laughs> we, we see. This uh -huh. is the genetically one of the similarity of mm -hmm. Mongolian Koreans. Mm -hmm. And historically, we have a lot of similarities during the old time. Then, based on our similarities, what kind of um, images that um, Mongolians have about Korea and Koreans? We have more energetic, maybe. We have more impressive attitudes. Uh -huh. And that's why the Koreans leading um, in this latest technology and latest mm -hmm. development area in this region. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. Mongolians, we do have a more energetic people in a single part of sports, like uh -huh. sumo, judo, uh -huh, uh -huh. boxing. Right. And also one thing we are learning from Koreans, how to be, mm -hmm. keep the balance of tradition and development. Mm -hmm. And I know that climate change is one of the major challenges of the era. And in order to make more effective contribution to tackling this issue, Korea recently um, been cracking down on the use of disposable cups mm -hmm. in the cafe. Um, what actions are being taken in Mongolia? We, in Mongolia, we have a big land, we landlocked country. Mm -hmm. And recently, we were more dependent on the livestock and agricultural sector. Mm -hmm. And so an environment issue is more important issue was Mongolians, it's still now. Mm -hmm. And as a minister of environment and tourism, I started a few things regarding the climate change issue. First mm -hmm. one is uh, we banned single-use plastic bag oh. from 1st March of 2019. Okay. And yeah. second one is when I started to educate our young generations. And we started Green Passport campaign which is educating people to have to, to keep environment more natural. Mm -hmm. And so these are uh, cause few things. First, we need to save water. Mm -hmm. We need to plant more trees. We need mm -hmm. to improve our waste management. Mm -hmm. And also we need to use, uh, uh, you know, battery issues more. Mm -hmm. The another one is we need to keep the more uh, animals in field in uh, mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. And also we need to change our habits. Instead of the educating the adults, it's better to save time and bet, get more results to educate their children. That's why the mm -hmm. Green Passport campaign is becoming more popular in Mongolia, and that mm -hmm. will bring more success in the mm -hmm. next 10 years. Mm -hmm. Another one is uh, we had 
uh, we have a lot of uh, environment and international NGOs. They do uh, mm -hmm. plant the trees and etc. Mm -hmm. It introduce some training. Mm -hmm. And one of the big partner in regarding that climate change is Korean government, mm -hmm. and we have done green belt project last ten years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it uh, get the more result, mm -hmm. especially in Gobi region, mm -hmm. and. It there we did a lot of rare mm -hmm. green plants in Gopi region. Mm -hmm. We have good result and hopefully the two government will uh, finish the first stage of green mm -hmm. belt in end of the, this year. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Another thing is this uh, year we have introduced it to uh, change the, our people's behavior, how to uh, make the waste management Mm -hmm. and collecting the rubbish bins, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. These are things we are facing, uh, reducing the bad result in Mongolia. Mm -hmm. Another thing is as a uh, Minister of Environment and Tourism, I want to introduce the latest cutting edge technology in uh, mining operations. And I requested mining companies, please introduce the latest technology regarding the saving water, saving energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, we are uh, made the rule restricted the raw coal uh, usage in household heating from la next fifteenth uh, of May next year. We will mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. That will mm -hmm. uh, help to reduce the air pollution in the uh, capital city of Lambatar. Mm -hmm. And so, regarding that, we need to introduce and uh, highest technology to regarding the coal burning, mm -hmm. and there must be filtration, etc. Mm -hmm. thing. We want to use the latest technology regarding energy and water and uh, reducing the CO2, mm -hmm. carbon emission, and mm -hmm. we would love to introduce the Korean technology in Mongolia. Um, even though you know the direction is right, I feel like change is always hard. Yes. Um, how is it going regarding not using the disposable plastic bag? Is uh, there a lot of resistance? Yes, people? but still mm -hmm. we have time. Mm -hmm. Now we still have a uh, four months mm -hmm. to start that plan. Right. So mm -hmm. during this uh, time, we need to educate our people and we need to educate the, for informing them uh, to stop mm -hmm. the single-use bag mm -hmm. production, import and using. Mm -hmm. That will bring success mm -hmm. in the coming years, mm -hmm. but it's difficult to right. start. Once it's some goal starts, uh -huh. people will accept that. Right. And these things are all for our kids, our future. Uh -huh. That's why I more confident we will mm -hmm. achieve that goal in shorter time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are the alternatives for um, disposable plastic bag? We are reducing the paper bag uh -huh. or more, more higher thick uh, plastic bags can be reusable. Oh, I yeah, see, yeah. I see. Uh -huh. um, early in the year, the two countries agreed to work together yes. in fighting air pollution. Yes. Um, what kind of joint measures have been made so far? Generally, the Mongolian uh, Prime Minister agreed we will spend all that fund which the discounted loan from Korea mm -hmm. should be uh, for housing, building the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that will reduce the air pollution first and also it Mm -hmm. Increase the people's city citizens' health and mm -hmm. other household condition will improve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. Um, actually, Korea is expanding the share of renewable energy in effort to cut air pollution within the country. And I heard that two countries are actively cooperating in this yes. field. Yes. So, could you please share the progress with us? Uh, there are a few. Things. First one is Mongolians uh, introducing the CNG, 
technology in Mongolia and we built one of the station mm -hmm. and in a few months that will start and public transport will use CNG mm -hmm. in Mongolia. Um, how can that CNG contribute to um, reduce the air pollution? Could you elaborate on uh, this? Uh, almost 30% of the public bus mm -hmm. will go by CNG, then it will reduce that kind of mm -hmm. usage of the diesel. Mm, I see. President Moon Jae-in proposed the building of the Northeast Asia supergrid um, yes. that connects renewable energy power grids in five countries, mm -hmm. Korea, China, Japan, Russia, mm -hmm. and Mongolia. Mongolia. Um, what is your country's natural resource potential? First, we have a ninth biggest country uh -huh. in the land size. Uh -huh. And also our south part of Mongolia, we have more wind, more solar. Mm -hmm. So this renewable energy, the, geographically we have infrastructure over there, mm -hmm. but we need to build the facilities mm -hmm. to uh, make uh, energy mm -hmm. to using the solar and the wind. Mm -hmm. And the Asian supergrid project will be one of the, our future regard in that region. Mm -hmm. And we want to be one of the crucial players in that mm -hmm. uh, super grid project. Mm -hmm. And before that, we need to discuss more technically, more professionally, how can we keep this super grid in shorter time mm -hmm. start this mm -hmm. thing. And regarding uh, the Ministry of Energy of Mongolia, working with Korean side, and also oh. Mongolian Foreign Affairs Ministry is working on that. And first, last year it has been more talk and a lot of oh. common understanding. We came to the one of the common understanding regarding mm -hmm. the supergrid. Mm -hmm. Then how is the Northeast Asia supergrid perceived among Mongolians? Last uh, 20 years, Mongolian economic condition is changing. Mm -hmm. We are becoming a more modern country uh, and also it has our economy changed from agricultural to mining. Now we want to be a next stage. We need to uh, introduce new business sector in Mongolia. Mm -hmm. uh, one of that is the that in renewable energy sector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are also a lot of uh, international companies invested in Mongolia regarding that renewable energy. Mm -hmm. And also, the, we have only two neighbors, Russia and China. The passing these two countries, sending commodities is difficult. Now we want to uh, change that mm -hmm. business model mm -hmm. to supplying, using the renewable energy and to connect with Asian supergrid. And also, there are more prediction, the usage of the electricity in the Asian uh, region is becoming bigger than before. Right. Is there a special reason that um, you are a minister of environmental and tourism? I mean, um, usually tourism is combined with culture or something yeah. else. So, um, the, the latest the experience of the countries, normally the, uh, the tourism belongs to the culture. Mm -hmm. But in Mongolia, we have a uh, main tourism income from the natural environment oh, tourism. That's I why see. we are keeping. But in near future, maybe after next parliament election, it will be that <laughs> way. Um, before we wrap up our interview, um, could you please share your vision for cooperation between Korea and Mongolia, and also how we can improve our cooperation in the future? Generally, the Mongolia is one of the youngest population in Asia, same as Korea. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of similarities. We want to be modern life, modern still uh, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, all, there are a lot of uh, similarities connecting us. First, it's friendship. Mm -hmm. Second, our tourism sectors. And third one, we need to keep that relation in the future. Mm -hmm. And so there are a lot of K-pop bands visiting uh -huh. Mongolia, also a lot of... I heard that one of the Korean drama going to take picture in 
Mongolia in oh. this year. Uh -huh. And so this kind of uh, the event will bring success. Mm -hmm. And one the longest and keeping the relation as long as this, the friendship. Mm -hmm. And we want to have more of Korean friends and then they will have more Mongolian friends. Mm -hmm. And we are in the same region. Mm -hmm. And we have only three hours flight from Ulaanbaatar to Incheon. Right. Yes. We are not far yes. away from each other. Yes. <laughs> and welcome to Mongolia. Uh -huh. For Korean. Uh -huh. um, Minister, thank you very much for your time and insights today. Thank you very much.